Okay, drumline. Um, percussion ensemble. Uh, I want you to practice just this first few measures up to the double bar here. And the first thing I want you to do is just practice saying it with me. So your asynchronous work today and also um, on Friday will be to work this first section. If, if we can get all the way through the first ending, that would be fantastic. And I know it's challenging, but just try to do this with me. So we come in on the and a three. And the, the tempo is supposed to be 112, but I've got this all the way down at 60. So try this and go and four and one e and a two e and four and try that again two ready here we go and and four and one e and a two e and four and now two is tied into three here and then that's the e of three three e and so it's two e and because three is tied and four and one e and a two e and four and okay if we keep going you'll see that one is silence here and this is and a so and a two e and a three and e and try that and a two e and a three and e and let's put that together and four and one e and a two e and four and and two e and a three and e and because the and of three is tied to four here see one two three four you can see the the blocks so this is three and e and just like e and here one e and two and a four and ready here we go one e and two and a four and okay so we're not observing the rolls or the flams we're just getting the rhythm down and then this last measure it this is the and a one one and two and ready here we go and two pull T three and three is the quarter, four is the dot, and then that's the and of four. Here we go. One and two pull T three and okay. So now let's say this whole thing. Ready? Count with me. You're gonna get better at this. Feel the tempo. And if you know, we can just sometimes it's good to practice like this. Go one two three four one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a and you're filling all those things while you read so we're here we're going to fill one two and three and then come in on the end of three one two three and four and one e and a two e and four and and a two e and a three and e and one e and two and a four and and two pull t three and now if you printed this up you could write those in okay it'd be and is always a plus and four and one e and a, okay so now what we want to do is we want to just play that rhythm while we do it Okay, so these are flams, so it's going to be do those three flams, and you can crescendo them. And four, and one, e, and a two, e, and four, and. Okay, when you get to that nine stroke roll, two, e, and a, except one, e, and a two, e, and, except on two, we're going to do four more sixteenth notes and double. Two, two, and I'm playing on a book. Two, if I put a little more energy into it, it comes out as a nice roll. And four, and one, E, and a two, E, and four, and, and a two, E, and a three. Now that's a five stroke roll, so just do 
double right, double left, right. So that it would be this measure here would be and a two E and a three, five stroke roll E and. And a two E and a three. See the accent on the end? One E and two and a. Okay, so here we have the nine stroke on two going into three and then a five stroke on four going to the and of four. Da 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 da. Okay? And then finally, and two pull T three and. That's our work for today. Let's try it. One, two, three, and four, and one E and a two, E and four, and, and a two E and a three, one E and two, and a four E and one, and two pull T three, and. Okay, print it up, write it in, say it over and over again, practice your five strokes and your nine strokes. See if you can get these first few measures. Okay, good job. Let me go ahead and see if I can stop this recording here.